Today, we are gonna to introduce the operation of the valves on the refrigeration system. The compressor's suction valve and exhaust valve, the liquid reservoir S valve and the water-cooled condenser's valve have the same function and internal structure. Firstly, we open the dust cap of the valve. We can see there is a valve stem inside, which is the control switch of the pipelines on both sides. There are two small inspection ports on both sides of the valve. The inspection port farther from the valve stem is not controlled by the valve while the one closer to the valve stem is controlled by the valve. So when the valve stem is fully withdrawn, the two large pipelines are connected. And then if we clockwise rotate the valve stem about one to two turns, the inspection port near the valve stem and the other two pipelines will be connected. When clockwise rotate the valve stem and screw it all in, only the pipelines in the downward and the inspection port near the valve stem will be connected. The pipelines in the parallel will be closed. Therefore, the valve stem must be unscrewed when starting the machine. This is the state that the valve of the machine equipment needs to be kept during the operation. When we get a new ice machine and want to start it, we need to vacuum the system first. Firstly, screw the valve stem into turns. Secondly, unscrew the cap of the inspection port near the valve. Thirdly, connect the pressure hose. Finally, you can start to vacuum the system. When the vacuum is done and then finished the refrigerant charging. Firstly, withdraw the valve stem completely. Then, remove the hose. Make sure the valve stem is completely withdrawn before remove the hose, otherwise, it will cause refrigerant leakage. Thirdly, tighten the cap of the inspection port. Lastly, put on the dust cap. The above is the correct operation of valve vacuuming. 